Hello! In today's video, I will show you how to make the best beer at home. The material will be divided into three parts. In the first, I will discuss the process of malt mashing and filtration. In the second, we add hops and cool the beer in the correct way and add the yeast. In the third part, you will find the information about beer fermentation and the bottling. In this video, I will use a Royal Catering Mash Boiler to produce beer, but you will also find such equipment in stores from other manufacturers. The use of such boiler also makes the whole process much easier and faster. Those who do not have such a boiler can do it in the large pot. A video about the production of beer in the pot will also be available on this channel. For the lazy guys or people who do not have the right conditions in the kitchen, I will record a video on how to make a beer from brew kit. Today we are going to mash the malt. For those hearing it for the first time, it sounds complicated, but it's quite simple. The purpose of mashing malt is to convert the starch contained in the grains into fermentable sugar and dextrins. This is done by the enzymes beta amylase and alpha amylase that are contained in the malt. The mixture of ground malt and water is kept for the center time at the right temperature so as to give the right taste and character to our beer. The two main meshing temperatures are 62 degrees Celsius, also called maltose break, and 72 degrees Celsius, also called dextrin break. For the curious, all other mash temperatures are in the table. Let's leave the theory for the moment and start a practice. In today's video, we will make a Czech Republic lager, 12 bricks, from my own recipe. In the description under the video, you will find the exact ingredients you need. At the beginning, we pour 22 liters of water into the boiler and heat it up to 55 degrees Celsius. As we can see, the brewing boiler makes our job much faster and easier. We simply set the power and temperature to which the water should be heated. When the water temperature reaches 55 degrees Celsius, pour in the ground barley malt. Add the malt in batches, stirring from time to time, so as not to lead to lumping of the malt. When all the malt is poured in, we keep the temperature at 55 degrees Celsius for the next 10 minutes. In order for the malt not to burn and the meshing to proceed properly, we turn on the pump, thanks to which water from the bottom is pumped to the top, ensuring constant water circulation. The speed of the water circulation can be changed by unscrewing or screwing the valve on the side of the boiler. After 10 minutes we set the temperature to 63 degrees Celsius and the time, in this case, to 20 minutes for which the given temperature must be maintained. We reduce the heating power to 2000 watts so that nothing burns. The optimal mashing heating rate is about 1 Celsius per 1 minute. The temperature of 63 degrees Celsius is the so-called maltose break. The enzyme beta amylase, which is the most active in this temperature, breaks down starch into maltose, a disaccharide that is fully fermentable. The longer we mash at this temperature, we will get a stronger beer but without a deep flavor. Therefore, we maintain this temperature for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, our almost beer had turned a nice golden color. The next step is to heat the mesh to 72 degrees Celsius and maintain this temperature for the next 40 minutes. During this dextrin break, 
we get more body and fullness in our beer. And that's what our Czech lager is all about. In theory, I'm trying to get a starting bricks of 12, which means that 100 ml contains 12 grams of sugar, and finishing at around 4 bricks. With this set, we should get a beer with a strength of about 4.7 to 5% and less than 70% of fermentation. All of these terms I used will be explained in the second part of this video. Back to our beer. After maintaining the temperature at 72 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes, we heat the mesh to 76 degrees to deactivate the enzymes. At this temperature, the mash becomes more watery, which later will help to do the filtration. It is good to prepare water at a 76 degrees Celsius in the separate pot, which we will use to sparge the mesh. Sparging is to wash out the rest of the sugar from the malt that we just meshed. So the next step is the filtration combined with the sparging the mesh. When our beer reaches a temperature of 76 degrees Celsius, we turn off the heating and the pump. Also, by turning on the valve, pour our beer into the fermenter. All containers and accessories we used should be disinfected so as not to contaminate the beer. Regarding disinfection of equipment, I will record a separate video for you. When draining the beer, remember to add water so as not to expose the spent grains. What we are doing right now is called filtration with sparge. As we can see, the initial bricks is now 15, and over time we will flush out the sugar, it will decrease. We do it until the mash bricks of the filtrated beer drops to about 2-3 bricks. On the end, our beer is a little over 11 bricks. It is less than we expected but after hopping, some water will evaporate and Briggs level will definitely increase slightly. This is the end of the first part. I invite you to the next ones, where you will learn what the remaining steps looks like to fully enjoy a great homebrew beer. If you like this video, leave the thumbs up and a comment. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel.